Hey everyone, Jake here. In today's video, we're diving into how to check if your device is locked to a carrier. Plus, we'll test an online tool that can help you remove this lock so you can switch to any carrier you want. Whether you have an Android or iOS device, this guide is for you. Let's get started. Now that we've got the basics covered, let's see if your device is actually locked. The easiest way to check is by popping in a SIM card from another carrier. If your device is locked, it won't connect to the new network. You might see it stuck on emergency calls only or get an error message. This varies depending on the device you have. Once we've confirmed that the device is network locked, we'll move on to using an online tool to unlock it. Now let's walk through how to use Safe Unlocks to get your device unlocked. First, head over to the Safe Unlocks website and navigate to the Services section. Select the Carrier Unlock option. To start the unlock process, you'll need to enter your name and email. Double check that this information is correct and accessible because you'll receive all the unlock details via email. Next, select the device you want to unlock by entering its brand. After that, you'll need to enter your IMEI number and accept the unlock terms and conditions. Once you've confirmed all the information, click the Proceed button. You'll be redirected to your order page and you should receive an email with the unlock instructions. Follow the steps provided in the email to activate your order. It's a good idea to watch the tutorial video included in the email to understand the process better. After completing the activation steps, you'll receive a membership ID associated with your order. Enter this ID in the membership identification box on the website to activate your order. Finally, just wait for a confirmation email letting you know that your device has been successfully unlocked. Once you have the confirmation email, go ahead and reinsert the SIM card we tested earlier. Give it a moment to pick up the new signal. It might take a few seconds as the new SIM card might require new settings that are applied automatically. As you can see, the phone now connects to the network without any issues, meaning it's no longer restricted. I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to leave a like and a comment if it was useful or if you have any questions.